You just bought a 3D printer and you spent a chunk of money on it. Now you're wondering, what am I gonna do with it? In this video, I wanna talk to you exactly why you shouldn't regret your purchase and why you should definitely not get rid of that 3D printer. <laughs> now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I almost returned this thing. It's an awesome printer, but after spending countless hours of research, a chunk of money on this thing, I started to panic a little bit. My biggest question was, did I just make a huge mistake? Was I gonna be able to use this thing enough to justify the cost? But here's the thing, after just spending 15 days with this printer, it changed the way I view the hobby. This really isn't just a hobby. It's a design choice. It's a tool. It's a small mini manufacturing system you have in your own home. I'm gonna tell you something right now. If you're having any regrets or you're panicking just a little bit, don't take this thing back. Start to view your surroundings, your house, your, your, your friends as opportunities, as problems, because you now have a tool in your arsenal that can fix almost anything. Now, I know that's easier said than done because I made the decision, finally pulled the trigger and I wanted to go get my Bamboo Labs P1S. I drove all the way down to Micro Center, I picked it up, I dropped $700 on this thing and as soon as I bought it, I was excited and nervous at the same time. I know it's exactly what you were going through when that thing either showed up at your door or you picked it up at the store. And once I got it home, I was so excited to get it unboxed, got it done, got it set up, started my first prints. I printed off a Benchy, just like everyone else. It's so cool, it's awesome. You loved how perfect it was. It came out great the very first time. And then you paused because once you print it off that Benchy, yeah, it's a really cool little boat. Then what the hell do you do next? And that was the exact question that I had sitting in the back of my head for an entire day. So the next day I got up and I told myself, okay, just do one print. Find something I can print that's useful. Find something that's fun, find something that's cool. And I ended up printing some really dumb stuff. I printed off some small 3D cats. I printed off one that was sitting, one that was laying, one that was just super chunky and fat. I printed off some planes. And then I made my first useful print. I printed off some golf tees and I made a little box for them. They're super cool. They're awesome. I gave some to my dad. I kept some for myself. I'm a big golfer. I love it. And then that question hit me in the back of the head again. <laughs> what am I actually gonna use this for? Did I just make a big mistake? So I sat on that question a little bit and I molded over and then I found a pretty big problem in my house. Well, really it was a small problem, but I had a book bag sitting on the ground. My fiance has one too, and they get in the way all the time. They sit right behind our couch, right next to our freezer. And it bothers the crap out of me because you can't get to the freezer. You can't move the chairs back to where you want to sit on the island. You can't always walk past there. The cats move them. So it makes a big issue. And I wanted to get him up out of the way. So I cleaned up my closet and I thought I can hang this up in my closet somewhere. And I can really get all of our clutter out of the living room floor and put away neat and organized. So I was like, all right, this is my first real solution. I can fix this. So I went online, I looked up, how do you even design your first 3D print? And I went through all of the different softwares. I looked at Fusion 360, I looked at FreeCAD, I looked at Tinkercad, I looked at, gosh, I can't even name all of them. There's so many design softwares. And I ended up falling on the simplest one and the freest one, Tinkercad. I then fell down a rabbit hole of how do you even design stuff on there? I first actually just started messing around with it and then I realized I don't wanna waste my time. I wanna watch some videos, figure out exactly how you kind of do some of this stuff and then go from there. And I developed my first 3D print after about an hour. And guess what? It didn't work. I printed the screw holes too small and I broke the print and it wouldn't hold up a bag. So, oh well. Then I went back to the drawing board 
fixed my design flaws, fixed little screw holes, and then printed it back up, put it back on the wall, and it worked perfectly. I even have a YouTube short about how I made it right here down below in the comments. And once I hung that book back up and I realized I just solved the problem, well, then my mind just... I then looked at everything in my house, every single scenario, every single situation as a problem. I could fix this. My life no longer became, what can I do with this thing? It was more so of, what can't I do with this thing? I went around and talked to my fiance, my family, my friends, and I said, guys, if you have a problem, if you have something that annoys you, if you have something that you wanna fix, or if you have a good idea, let me know. Because I can design it, I can make it. Now, I knew nothing about design. I barely made a hook that worked. However, I knew I had the opportunity to do it. So that brings me to like day five. I had finally made my first real design, my first functional 3D print, and it made sense and it worked. And so now I had the literal world at my fingertips. I could design anything I wanted if I just put my mind to it. And I could basically make it right here in my house. So why not stop there? I then looked at everything. And the next 3D print I made was, I was at work talking to one of my coworkers. And when she was sitting at her desk, she just said, ugh. And then she tried to slam her drawer back down and it wouldn't stay shut. And I was like, you know what? When I come back tomorrow, I'm gonna fix that. And lo and behold, I went home, made the simplest 3D print of all time. Again, I made another YouTube short about it. Go check it out, it's pretty awesome. And brought it back to work, literally glued it to the bottom of her desk. And now, no problem anymore. A lot of people in the comments asked me if I leveled the desk. No, I did not level the desk. The desk was perfectly level, but fuck. Anyways, doesn't matter. I solved a problem that wasn't mine. I solved the problem for somebody else. And that just made my head blow up even more. Thinking of all the possibilities, how simple some of the solutions could even be and how fast I could get them done with this little manufacturing system right here. I now have a list, an absolute list of things that I wanna do. And so far, I have already accomplished creating hooks for barbell racks to hold clips, to hold different weights. I have created book organizers. I have created mounts for computers. I have mounted a Steam Deck. I have mounted RC cars on the wall. I have created picture mounts. I have created so many different functional items that I'm itching to create the next one. I realized that I can solve almost any problem that I want. And that's what I was getting at in the beginning of the video. If you're having any concerns or you're really worried about what you might be able to do with this 3D printer, yeah, you can make slinky dragons or jelly things or little fidget toys or little small figurines or what have you. But you can also solve a lot of your own problems with this thing as well. And this thing doesn't have to be just a toy or a hobby. It can be a tool set, as long as you have the right ideas, the right mindset, and a little bit of creativity. I know if you're new to 3D printing, you're probably wondering the same thing I was. And here's the truth that most people don't tell you. You're gonna panic a little bit when you buy your printer. You're gonna wonder, was it worth it? Did I just spend all this money for something that's gonna kind of be a toy or maybe sit on the side after a month? And for some people, that might be the case. But for you, for others, it's not gonna be. All you have to do, start not looking at the 3D printer as a toy or something like a hobby. Look at it like a tool. Like you genuinely have your own manufacturing system. And the opportunities are gonna present themselves as problems. You're gonna look at something like cables under your desk and think, there's a better way I can organize this. There's your problem, go organize it. There, you're gonna look at tools on your desk or tools in your workshop or pens or, or picture frames that are sitting on the floor and think, I can hang that, I can organize that, I can, I can make that better. There's your problem. Go fix it. And so as long as you change your mindset, change your view on what you can use this thing for, 
the possibilities are endless. Don't question your 3D printer. Question what you can't do with it. Because right now, I haven't found an opportunity that I can't fix or can't use this 3D printer for. The Bamboo Labs P1S, for me, because it is my first printer, has been absolutely phenomenal. And I'm excited for the day that I can get another printer and I can look at different opportunities with different filaments and different printing styles. But I'm still early in my journey and I'm still even learning small CAD softwares like Tinkercad. And I wanna share that journey with you. But the one thing I wanted to get across was the fear that I had deep in my soul, which was, did I make a mistake? And I know a lot of people that just bought their 3D printer that have already gotten a few prints under their belt are thinking the same thing. And I wanna reassure you, this thing is worth it. If you like this video, please go ahead, click that like button, leave a comment maybe on some of the 3D prints you've done before or some of the questions you might have about your own printer or what you can do with it. And if you like following my journey and my videos, please go ahead and click that bell icon and I will see you guys in the next video.